Hello, Maurice. Hello, How are you, Maurice? Fine. Ready for start class. Ready to start the class. Okay, perfect. Yeah. What about your day? How was it? How was your day? Yeah. My day is very busy because I I have visit the uh, uh, client. Green. All right. The clients. Clients. Client, client Korean. Really? Yeah. Korean? Oh. Yeah. Really? Okay. So it, it was really busy, I think. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, but uh -huh. it's yesterday. Oh, yesterday. And today? Two. It was good. It was better. M more relaxing. It could say practicing a uh, little. He speak English. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, that's the attitude. Okay, very good, Maurice. Okay, so let me see. Um, I also see that we have Carla Sofia and we also have Carlos Vladimir. Okay, good evening, guys. Um, I also see that Norma is joining. Okay, so I hope you all have had a great Wednesday. We are in the middle of the week, so we are almost done with this week. Right. So, well, welcome once again. And we are going to start with today's agenda. Well, today, guys, we have different activities that we are going to do. And that, uh, we also have um, grammar, which is going to be unit four. So today we are going to start um, by talking about will and train. OK, so we also have the speaking time and we have the grammar quiz, okay? So we have a grammar quiz, we also have a listening quiz and we have a reading quiz. So to begin with guys, we are going to start with building vocabulary. So first of all, let's talk about a robot. What is a robot? What is it? So today our lesson is going to be focused on future, okay? So what is a robot? So a robot is a machine that works for people, okay? So people use computers to control robots, yeah? So what are the type of things that robots can do, all right? So let's see. What do you think is picture number one? What is picture number one? Uh -huh. education. In education, that is correct. Okay, so in education, what about number two? Uh -huh. What is number two? Going to work. Okay, so now doing housework, doing. Perfect. What about number three? Number three. Caring for people. Caring for people. That is correct. And what about number four? What do you think? Number four. Uh -huh. The police. Uh -huh. Number four, number four may be uh, fighting words. What about number five? What do you think that image represents? Number five. Number five. Exploring a space. Exploring a space, that is correct. What do you think picture number six represents? That one is doing operations. Doing operations. That is correct. What about number seven? Uh -huh. Number seven. Helping the police. 
helping the police. And the last one, number eight. What do you think that picture represents? Number eight. That one is going to be? As friends. As friends. Mm -hmm. As friends, okay? Now, once again, pronunciation. Remember, this one is doing housework, caring for people as friends, doing operations, helping the police, exploring a space, fighting wars in education, okay? So let me ask you something, guys. Which jobs do you think robots can do better than people and why? Do you think that we can be replaced by robots? Do you think that um, we are going to be replaced by them? What do you think? Or no, never. Well. Mm -hmm. Teacher is very the, the work with robots. Okay. Why? Why do you think it's better, Maurice, because, to work with robots? Because, because it's more uh, Eh, quiero decir que eh, el trabajo lo hacen casi casi a la perfección porque utilizan un programa oh ok so robots can perform tasks ¿Sí? in a perfect way sí. uh, well almost in a perfect way right almost almost because, because you program in, mm -hmm. eh, because in my company have a robot. Okay. Utili utiliza. Uh, use. Use use a program. Program. Yes, he, he, he very perfect. Yeah. Yes. You know, I think that uh nowadays, uh I think that I mean, I'm not sure it, if we can be replaced by robots, but the thing is that as Maori said, robots can perform different tasks almost perfect right because you program the machine and that's it mm -hmm. but i think that we robots can do different things in in different fields but no i think right but no on the ones that require sense i mean feelings right that's what I think, but I don't know, right? But as Maori said, yeah, they can perform the tasks almost perfect. And right now, there are many, there are, there are many new careers in different places, right? About artificial intelligence. Mm. That is really, really common nowadays. And that is the future. So if you do not learn any other skill, it is going to be really difficult for you in the future. You need to learn different skills, guys, in English and Spanish. Because if not, yeah, that's the future, Inter um, artificial intelligence. That's the future. And in the country, there are many places that are offering new careers in the university, right, about that. So we need to be prepared. But I think that probably, um, you know, I think that robots can, I think, okay, that robots cannot perform any type of surgery. I mean, it could be dangerous. A surgery, a cirugia, I think that a robot cannot yeah. perform it. Well, right now, but in the future, who knows? 
But right now, I think that now there is a robot already in, in McDonald's, I think. No me recuerdo en qué restaurante, pero ya hay robots, right? Que, que le llevan la orden, se la traen. Yeah, even in the hospital, right? Yeah, so um, it is really interesting, artificial intelligence and all of that. But yes. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. In a hospital, uh, a Camilo hospital, uh, mm -hmm. have a robot only, only go exam. Yes, uh huh. Are, are I saw exam. a video. Yeah, that is correct. So probably a robot can do housework. Yes, yes, a robot can help you doing housework. Even this, this, um, this little ball that the name is Alexa. Alexa, I think that is the name, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, Alexa. that you say, Alexa, play this song. Alexa, turn off the light. And Alexa does that. Usted la configura y mire usted de su cama le dice, Alexa, turn off the light. Le apaga las luces. Alexa, give me the, the time. Y le da la hora. I mean. Put alarm. Alexa, set the alarm. Y le pone la alarma. Le hace todo, Alexa. Uh -huh. So, helping the police, I think that teacher, probably, teacher. no. Uh -huh. Teacher, eh. This is a robot, Alexa. You know, oh. I think that um, no, it's not a robot. Alexa is like a Alexa is artificial intelligence. Huh? Eso yeah. sí, Alexa, but it's not a robot. I think it's a machine, but or I don't know. I don't know if, if we can say that Alexa is a robot. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but I know that Alexa is artificial intelligence because you ask many things and, and she answers. She answers. And I, I heard uh, some news, right, about people that actually have Alexa in the U.S. and they even see Alexa as friend. Hay personas que no tienen con quién hablar en los Estados Unidos porque en Estados Unidos, a pesar que hay mucho dinero y que las personas viven muy felices, se podría decir, pero no es así, porque en ocasiones las personas tienen mucho dinero en Estados Unidos, pero están solos. So, ellos lo que hacen es eh, buscan pues sentirse eh, probably eh, appreciated entonces hay un hay una Alexa más avanzada en Estados Unidos que sirve como amiga para las personas que se sienten solas yes imagine so I think that robots can be your friends yes but no it's not the same it's not the same as if you were probably talking with with a person with a real human being right it's not the same mm -hmm. So, um, well, helping the police, probably. Exploring the space, absolutely. Eso, por supuesto, siempre ha sido así, right? Exploring the space, yes, I think that it is really useful. Fighting words as well, right? And in education, mm, yes, could be, but not as teachers, I think. But yes, they can be really useful in education. They can be. So, yes. Okay, so now let's move right so once you have the time guys take a look at uh an article about artificial intelligence right take a look at those type of things look for videos it is really interesting that topic all right so we're going to start with future will all right future will so in this case uh we are going to start by talking about um these tense which is actually um the one that we use to talk about plans in the near or far future okay it depends the first thing that we need to remember is the structure as you may know okay so we have positive sentences we have negative sentences and we also have questions so if you remember guys with the future will okay future will we use 
will as an auxiliary verb. So we have the structure for positive sentences. We have the subject, then we have will, we also have verb in base form, and we have the complement. Then we have the negative sentence. Subject, will not, or the contraction, which is the most common, the one that we use, which is won't, verb in base form, and then we have the complement. And for the question, we start the question with will, then subject, then verb in base form, and then we have the complement and the question mark. Yeah? So easy. Okay? So another thing that we need to remember and that we need to recall is that we use time expressions. So with the tense will, we use tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, next week, next month, next year. And those two, which are really, but really important when we use will, maybe and probably. If you remember, will is about the future, but you are not 100% sure. That's why we use maybe or probably. Because you are not 100% sure when you use will. Okay? So remember, will is for you to talk about the future, but is not 100% sure. Okay? No es 100% seguro que el futuro que usted está expresando se vaya a cumplir. Okay, that's why we use maybe and probably. Okay, so um, we have some examples. Okay, when we use will, guys, when we use will, we use it because it expresses future actions at the moment of speaking. Okay, that's the first usage. Okay, so nos ayuda a expresar Acciones en el momento que estamos hablando. For example, whenever you go to a, a restaurant and you want to say, yo voy a querer una hamburguesa, dice. Okay, so that is, I will have a hamburger. I will have a hamburger. I will drink soda. Okay, so in order for you to ask for different things in a restaurant, you can use will. Okay, so I'll, or a contraction, I'll, I'll have a hamburger, or I'll have a soda, or I'll have a salad, etc. Yeah. Will expresses a prediction based on personal opinion or experience. And listen to that one. Will expresses a prediction based on personal opinion or experience. That means that is something possible. And look at this. We say, I think, porque decimos yo pienso, porque will expresa opinión personal, okay? Basada en su experiencia personal o experiencia personal, okay? So I think they won't win their next match, okay? I think they will go to the party. I think, okay? It's something that I think. No es que sea real, yo lo pienso, yo creo que así es. And then expresses future fact, something that is possible. He will love your present, okay? Cosas a futuro, pero que no son 100% verdaderas. Okay? So will is for future actions at the moment of speaking, predictions based on personal opinion or experience, and future facts. Okay? Now, Let's move and we have some examples right here. So we have positive sentences, we have negative sentences, and we also have questions, okay? 
Uh, Maurice, can you please help us reading positive? George, negative? And Carlos Vladimir, questions. Okay, to start. Yes. If we go to the cinema tonight, mm -hmm. he will play tennis tomorrow. They will go to the beach. Thank you. I will not go to the cinema tonight. He will not play soccer tomorrow. They will not go to the beach. Perfect. Questions? Will you eat pupusas tomorrow? Will you buy a snack tomorrow? Will you take a shower tomorrow? Thank you. All right, guys. So in this case, um, as you can see, positive. I will go to the cinema tonight. Negative. I will not go to the cinema tonight. Or the contraction. I want. Is your choice, okay? Es su elección. Ahí lo que usted considera. Si quiere utilizar la contracción, use la contracción. Si usted no quiere utilizar la contracción, no la use. Use la forma larga. Okay? But the most common is the contraction. Uh -huh. Will you eat pupusas tomorrow? Yes, I will. No, I won't. Yes, I will. No, I won't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so positive, negative, and questions. Yeah. Okay, so now let's move and let's complete the exercises. So in the positive sen uh, sentences, number one, we will help you. Yeah, we will. We will help you. Number two, I will get you a drink. Yeah, ¿cómo se dice? Yo te voy a traer una bebida, ¿ok? O te traeré una bebida, ¿ok? O como decimos nosotros, nosotros, te la voy a traer. I will get you a drink. I will get you a drink. I think our team will win the match. I will buy the tickets. I will buy the tickets. Maybe we will stay at home. Maybe. Maybe we will stay at home. Okay. What about the negative? So here, remember, we can use want or we can use will not. It depends. You decide. We won't help you. We won't help you. Or, I won't get you a drink. I won't get you a drink. Okay. I think our team won't win the match. Number four. I won't buy the tickets. Maybe we won't stay at home. Okay. Now, can you please give me the questions? Ahora es su turno. Deme las preguntas, ok. Número uno, number one. La oración es, we will help you. The question? Will we help you? We help you. Will we help you? Number two, I will get you a drink. Will I get you a drink? Perfect. Number three, I think our team will win the match. Mm -hmm. Will I think our team wins the match? Okay. Will I think our team will win the will win the match? Okay. Um number four. I will buy the tickets. Will I buy the tickets? Will I buy the tickets? Perfect. Number five. Maybe we will stay at home. Remove maybe, okay? Just we will stay at home. Uh -huh. The question? We will we we'll stay at home. Will we stay at home? Okay, very good. Will we? Will we? Okay, very good. Yeah. This topic is really easy, right? 
it's not that difficult, guys. Okay. So let's see. Now give me positive or negative sentence or a question. Okay. Number one. Tom will get up. Will get up at seven tomorrow. Number two. My dad will wash his car next week. Will wash his car next week. Number three. We we will make a snowman next winter. Next winter. Perfect. Number four. Mom. Will cook dinner will tomorrow. Will not. Will not or will cook dinner tomorrow. Perfect. Number five. Sam. Will ride his bike next Friday. Perfect. So Sam will ride his bike next Friday. Number six, Mary. Mm -hmm. Mary. Will, 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 uh, will, next summer. Mm, okay, so no. let's see. No, not exactly. Mary will build, okay, a sand castle next summer. Will build. Huh? Yeah. Uh, number seven, Nick. Mm -hmm. Nick will swim in the sea next summer. Okay. What about number eight? They, mm -hmm. they will go up camping soon. Excellent. They will go camping soon. Number nine, the children will go on a picnic, will go on a picnic next Sunday. And number 10, James will read tomorrow. Will read tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Don't forget about the future will. Yes, it is really simple, okay? It's not difficult. Do you have any question? Do you have any doubt? Preguntas, dudas? No? Future will? Preguntas o dudas del futuro will? No? Okay, let's move, okay? So now... You are going to make the questions, okay? You are going to make the questions. So as you can see, we have five, yeah? So you have the sentence, but I need to write the questions. Escritas. Y me las manden el chat aquí en Zoom. Okay? Le voy a dar five minutes, okay? So you can go ahead and create the five questions. Okay? Preguntas. Y las manden el chat.
Okay, thank you. Yes, very good, Nelly. Will change straight to yes. Okay. Yes, Pablo. Um, George, in this case, all of them were questions, but I think that you made some sentences, but there is a question, will they go to school tomorrow, but you didn't add the question mark. I'm sorry. Don't worry. Will James read tomorrow? Will he go skiing next winter? Will Mr. Blackwork next Saturday? Will he start next week? Okay. Yes, Maurice. Solo la última que dejó junto he go okay oh okay sorry all right okay okay all right so now let me see okay very good okay so now i'm going to ask you Okay, I'm going to give you the sentence and you're going to give me the question, okay? So, just give me one second, yes. And Maurice, give me the question for Polly will go to the beach next week. Number six. Number six. Is, will Polly beach next week? Okay, will Polly go to the beach next week? Okay, perfect. Seven, Maurice. He will drive his car in two days. Will he drive his car in two days? Okay. Perfect. Number eight, please, uh, Kenya. They will drink milk tomorrow. Will they drink milk tomorrow? Perfect. Emerson, the children will go to school next autumn. Will the children go to school next autumn? Okay. And Nelly, they will lay the table tomorrow. Will they lay the table tomorrow? Perfect. Okay. Excellent, guys. So you see, very easy and simple, okay? Yes. Okay. So right now, I'm going to take the attendance, okay? And I'm going to send a video to the WhatsApp group and you are going to work on teams, ¿ok? Va a trabajar en equipos con el video que yo le voy a mandar al grupo de WhatsApp que quiero que me responda estas cinco preguntas, ¿ok? Con el video que le voy a mandar, ¿ok? Abra la clase, ¿ok? Open the class. Primero le voy a tomar la asistencia y después los voy a distribuir. Okay, guys, so here we go. Okay. 
En un momento le mando el, el link del video. So, Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Present. Thank you. Claudia María Guerrero Mejía. Claudia María. No. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Daisy. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Um, Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, miss. Thank you. Uh, Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present, teacher. Thank you. José Bernardo López Montes. José Bernardo. Juan José Herrera Alvarenga. Juan José. No. Ok. Eh, Karen Janet Granados Orellán. Karen. Present. Eh, Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Ya, yeah, eso, Carla. Ya, yeah, I think that she's Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Zelaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Marian Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Marian. Ok. Eh, Marina Jensi Sandoval Bonía. Ok. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Yeah. So Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade. Present. Thank you. Norma Patricia de Arrué. Yeah, eso Norma. Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Yes. Present. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Present. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Eh, Jonathan Roberto García Almendares. Jonathan? No. Okay. All right, guys. En ese momento le voy a mandar el link al grupo de WhatsApp y con su equipo va a ver ese video y va a responder esas preguntas. Ok. Um, Bueno, ahí está. Okay, ese es el, el, el link del video. Por supuesto, usted puede right. investigar. Ok, aparte, este es un video para que usted lo vea. Pero puede investigar más. Um, ok, guys. Lo voy a distribuir para que pueda trabajar con su equipo. Las cinco preguntas. Ok. Ok, guys, do you have any question? Preguntas acerca de la actividad? No, no, question.
Hello, do you have any question about the activity? Mm. No. No, no, no. Okay, all right. False acquire knowledge and developing skills. Employees acquire knowledge through formal and informal training activities and development experiences. The distinction between training and development is an important one. Training delivers information people will use in their jobs. Training builds competencies, the knowledge, skills, and abilities employees need. Development refers to experiences that make people better. Development is a tool for increasing organizational productivity, excellence, and health. Training and development increases employee engagement and helps employees and organizations perform their best. First question. Hola, mi nombre es Esteban y soy ingeniero de datos. Mi mejor nivel de inglés suele ser un gran problema en mi trabajo. Suerte, hace tres meses. Sí. Formal and informal training activities and development experiences. The distinction between training and development is an important one. Training delivers information people will use in their job. Training builds competencies, the knowledge, skills, and abilities employees need. Development refers to experiences that make people better. Development is a tool for increasing organizational productivity, excellence, and health. Training fits and helps employees and organizations perform their best. Okay. La primera pregunta la tienes, Nelly. ¿Cómo? What? La primera pregunta ya dice cuál es el entrenamiento. What is training? Que parece que se estaba compartiendo la pantalla. ¿Ah? Um, Nelly, I think that you won't be able to share, I mean, you can share that, a, a Word document, but not the video. El video no, porque si no, YouTube nos va a, a decir que por los derechos de autor. Okay. Okay? So, do you want to share the Word document or, or no? Yes. Yes, okay. Okay, I'm going to. Okay. Okay. ¿Está publicando eso, Nelly? ¿Eh? Eso tú lo...
entrenamiento. ¿no? Uno, uno tiene que decirle qué es lo que necesita entrenar a la gente, ¿no? a recursos humanos, para que ellos eh, nos proporcionen eh, el que nos va a dar esa capacitación. Who are responsible training? Mm, for me, eh, recursos humanos, pero tenemos que ver el video. Human resources. Human resources. Resources. Refers to experiences that make people better. Development is a tool for new productivity, excellence, and health. Training and development increases employee engagement and helps employees and organizations perform their best. Development refers to experiences that make people better. Development is a tool for increasing organization productivity, excellence, and health. Training and development increases employee engagement and helps employees and organizations perform their best. Training builds competency, knowledge, skills, and abilities employees need. Development refers to experiences that make people better. Development is a tool for increasing organizational productivity, excellence, and health. Training and development increases employee engagement. Job? Why human resource? How can a identify training? Yeah. ¿Cómo podemos identificar la necesidad del entrenamiento? Mm -hmm. uh, make a make a Evaluation for people. Okay, evaluation. Yeah. Evaluation de conocimientos nobles en Process. Attitude. What do you say? Why attitude? Attitude. What do you say? Fisher. Mm -hmm. Attitude. Attitude. Entonces, bueno, en la evaluación abarca más términos generales, podemos hacer. Conocimiento, actitudes, falta de experiencia. So, attitude, A, T, T. A, T, T. I, T, U, D, E. Attitude. A, A, I, 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 What are some training? What is some inspiration? Method of entrenamiento. What are some training methods? Eh. Place, play, sometimes. Hey, what are what are some training methods? Uh, mm -hmm. for the conference. Mm -hmm. Conferences. Mm -hmm. In a. Uh, en el campo práctico, teacher, what do you say? 
um, en el campo práctico. Porque conferencias son las de la teoría ¿no? y algunos estudios que se hacen, uh -huh. pero ya en el hecho, propio lugar de los hechos. No, no sé si te voy a decir eso. En el campo práctico. O como práctica nada más. Ajá. En la práctica. En la práctica. En la práctica. En la práctica. En la otra es. Uh, Mm. Playing? Mm. Could be mental is a training yeah. method. Games. Uh -huh. Game. uh, you can say like um, educational games. Okay. Uh, make a group. Work work group. Work group. Groups. Uh -huh. Groups. Okay. Educational games, work groups. The other one. The online material. Yeah, online or video or video. Material, material, material. Mm -hmm. Material. Online material, okay. How can we identify training this? Okay. Uh, on that one, donde dice knowledges, no, sin la, sin la S. Así. And here, knowledge and development. También, no. Esa no tiene eh, plural, ¿ok? Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. uh -huh. Muy Knowledge and development skills for employees. Okay. Yes, I think that that is okay. Are you going to add something else? Le va a agregar algo más? I don't think so. Okay. So I think that we, we should go back to the main room. Okay. Let's go back. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you Nelly. Okay, guys, so let me ask you, okay, let me ask you a couple of questions. So what is training? What do you have for this um, question? What is training? If right now I ask you what is training, what can you answer? What is training for you? Give me a definition. Mm -hmm. Returning is method for helping employees to learn different activities. Mm -hmm. Okay. Knowledge Great. and no. development skills. And development skills. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? What else can you tell me about training? What is training? Um George Emerson, what is training? What do you have for training? Mm -hmm. 
What is it? Uh -huh. What is training? Hello, hello, Miss. Yes, Sorry. I have problem. Yeah. What is training? Paul and I thinking uh, the preparation specific to development of activities. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. Very good. So yes, guys, the training is actually probably um, this type of resource that most companies use in order for employees to learn new skills, right? To learn new uh, information, to learn different type of processes that you need to implement whenever you are going to work in order for you to implement those processes whenever you are going to perform a task. Mm -hmm. So, and what are the specific goals of training? What are the specific goals? What do you think? What are the specific goals? Its purpose is to improve, develop, increase and refine the skills to achievement and improvement and development of the activities of the per participant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. That is one of the goals. I think that, yes, you are right. The development, okay, of uh, the skills uh, for most employees. Okay. What else? Okay, the development of the skills, yes. What uh, is what is another goal that we can have when we receive training? What is another, another goal? Mm -hmm. You know, I think that one of the main goals whenever you receive training, guys, is you doing your job in the correct form, in the correct way, okay? Because you receive training in order for you to improve the quality of your job, right? In order for you to do the things right in the correct way. That is another goal. Another goal could be, um, when you receive training, you avoid mistakes. Why? Because you are receiving training in order for you to avoid, evitar, avoid mistakes. That is another goal. It's not just because, uh, yes, let's receive this training and that's it. No, it's because there is a purpose, there is a goal, right? You doing your tasks in a better way. Hmm? A specific goal for training, improve skills, avoid mistakes, improve the quality of your job. Mm -hmm. um, probably, um, Improve your knowledge about something. Yes, could be. Okay. Now, who are responsible for training? Who are responsible for training, guys? What do you think? Who are responsible for training? The responsible means this. Usually the managers of the business professional who accept the, the growth and development needs of the employees. Correct. That is correct. You know, um, the responsible most of the time, well, at first point is going to be 
I consider that the first person responsible for you to receive training is the manager. Then human resources. Uh -huh. Because the manager is going to realize that you are lacking certain skills, right? El sugerente tiene que ser capaz de verificar qué habilidades le hacen falta a usted. Then, entre recursos humanos, human resources, porque es un canal de apoyo. Yes. So, human resources, your manager, and you. Y usted también es responsable. Okay. Because if you know that you are lacking one skills, usted tiene que buscar la herramienta para aprender. También usted es responsable. The training. Okay? So, how can we identify training needs? How? How can we identify that we need training? Huh? How? The first step toward identify training needs is to understand the skill required for the rules, consider the objectives and tasks of the job roles in your company. Excellent. Yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. We can also add that we can identify that we need training with probably some tests. Right, some assessment, yeah, some probably questionnaires, right? And if you get probably a low score or probably you missed uh, something, right? So you need training sometimes. Uh -huh. Very good. And what are some training methods? What are some training methods that we have in a company? or that you actually know, which are some training methods? Uh -huh. We were discussing with some of you and I was seeing that you were adding conferences. Okay, that is a training method, of course. Whenever you go to probably a conference, right, or whenever you go to uh, probably a, a, a talk, right, so it's because you are going to receive training. Okay, conferences, yes. What else? What else is a method of training? Coaching or mentoring? Mentoring, coaching, very good. Uh -huh. um, okay, now you can receive training in your company or outside of your company, right? Because at this moment you are receiving classes, but we can say that this is a training, a training because you are learning, yeah? So right now you are not in the company, you are online, so methods of training online uh, lessons online classes mm -hmm. very good guys so training is really important in your company so i hope well at least you are receiving training in english okay and that is something good but i hope you receive training in other areas as well which are really important for you to improve yeah, and with that, we are going to move to this. So on the video that you saw, uh, we had some words, okay? So we have the first one, which is enhance. What is the meaning of enhance? What is it? What is enhance, guys? Who knows? What is enhance? Mejorar. So Enhance, guys, is the same, is the same as saying improve, is a synonym, yeah? We need to enhance that process. We need to improve that process, 
So enhance, yeah, enhance, mejorar, enhance, yeah. We also have lesson. What is lesson? Lesson is disminuir. Disminuir. Y de otro sinónimo en inglés de lesson. Another synonym? Reduce. Reduce. Another one? Decrease. Okay. Reduce, decrease. Perfect. Uh -huh. Reduce, decrease. Now, what is the meaning of output? What is output? Output. Is salida. The, okay, la salida. Now, give me one synonym. The output. Production. Um, the production. Okay, yes. Okay, so output means the result. Okay, por eso es que algunas ocasiones usted va a ver esa palabra y dicen, ¿cuál es el output? Y usted dice, el output, la salida, dice. Sí significa salida, pero también puede significar resultado. ¿Cuál es el output? ¿Cuál es el resultado? Which is the output? Yeah? Which is the result? Which is the result? Son sinónimos de otras palabras que ya conocemos. Nada más que esas palabras son un poco más eh, avanzadas, okay. técnicas. ¿Ok? What is the meaning of appraisal? Mm -hmm. Appraisal? Valoración. Yes. Um, well, appraisal, appraisal means valoración. Okay? So it means the estimated value. Okay? Un valor estimado, una valoración. The appraisal, okay? Hmm? And the last one, what is the meaning of apprenticeship? Apprenticeship, what is the meaning of that word? Hmm? Okay. Yes, apprenticeship. Yes, apprenticeship, guys, means learning. Aprendizaje. Significa aprendizaje. Learning. The apprenticeship. The learning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Make sure you do not forget about those words because those words are really important. Okay. And you can go ahead and improve your, your the way that you sound and the way that you speak by learning those type of words, right? So, guys, we are going to take the first quiz, okay? We are going to take the first quiz, and the first quiz is related to, um, let me see. Yes, the first quiz is related to vocabulary, okay? This quiz is really, really, really easy for you, okay? So, basically, it's about nationalities, okay? Let's see if you remember about nationalities. So, let me send the, the link here on the chat. Full name, please, and the passcode is vocabulary, okay? So you will see the country, okay? And um, you need to add the nationality. Okay, you will see the country and you need to add the nationality. So you have 10 questions right there, I'll give you around five minutes okay five to well six minutes because that one is easy for you okay countries and nationalities okay countries and nationalities guys let's see if you remember about that topic okay countries and nationalities you need to type you need to digitar okay you need to type
Okay, guys, let me see. Okay, I'm missing some of you. Okay. Okay, so now let's move and what we, what we are going to do is the following, guys. We are going to take the reading quiz, okay? So the reading is going to be almost the same as yesterday that I uh, actually shared the screen and you saw the, the reading, okay? So this is the reading, okay? Open the link and you have the reading right here, okay? You have it there. And I'll give you five minutes, okay? So you can finish it in five minutes.
Okay. So let's see. Maurice, help us reading the first paragraph. Okay. Uh, Pablo, the second paragraph. And Emerson, the last paragraph. Norris? Hi, nice to meet you. My name is John Smith. I'm 19 and, and I studying in college. I go to college in New York. My favorite course are geometry, geometry, French, and history. English is my hardest course. My professors are very friendly and smart. It is it's my second year in the college now. I love it. I love it. Okay, perfect. Uh, Pablo. I live in a big house on Even Street. It is near the college campus. I share the house with three other students. Uh, their names are Bill, Tony, and Paul. We'll have each other with homework on the weekend. We play football together. Thank you. Emerson? I have a younger brother. He just started high school. He is 14 and live with my parents. They live on the Mel Melbourne Street in Boston. Sometimes they visit me in New York. I am happy when they visit. My mom always brings me sweets and candy. When they come, I really miss them too. Excellent. Okay, guys, very good. Okay, so um, probably things that I need to mention from this reading is the following. When we say my professors, okay, no significa mis profesores, okay? So, cuando usted vea profesor, no es que sea profesor, professor means catedrático, okay? Un profesor yeah. o un maestro se dice teacher. Cuando usted vea professor, es catedrático, Okay. Uh, another thing that I need to mention from this, well, I think that now you understand most of the of the of the context and not, and the in the words that we have right here. Okay. All right, guys. So now let's uh, let's continue. Let me go back. All right. So now, okay, guys. As you can see right here, we have an example email. Okay, this is an example email in order for you to request training. Okay. You see that we have the email address. So we have added hr at department.com. It's a generic address. Okay, it's just invented. So subject training request. Okay, so this is for you whenever you are going to request training in English. Okay. So good morning, team, period. Un punto. All right. Good morning, team, period. I am writing to request your approval, su aprobación. I am writing to request your approval to attend a training for effective communication on a specific date on July 17th, which has a duration of 10 hours. You need to include the R sometimes, okay? The training will be developed in the center. The training will be developed in the center. I also include the price of it, which is $120 as you requested, okay? Thank you for taking the time to look into my request. Mire, gracias por tomarse el tiempo de verificar mi pedido, okay? De mi request, okay? Y su firma, sincerely, y le pone las iniciales de su nombre o su nombre completo, como quiera usted, okay? O un nombre y un apellido. Uh, your first name and your last name, okay? So, sincerely, 
uh, Wendy Ramirez. Okay. Or uh, regards, coma, y eso es bien importante. Después de, ese, de esa despedida, de esa palabra que usted pone, tiene que ponerle una coma. Mire, you need to add the coma. Yeah. Uh -huh. So in this case, basically, this is an email. Okay, this is an email in order for you to request a training. Yeah. Uh -huh. So um, this is an example in order for you to probably use it at some point, okay? And you just need to change the name of the, of the, of the training, right? It could be, I am writing to request your approval to attend a training for, a, for improving my conversation skills, for improving my, uh, what? My English language. Right, or my English level, yeah? There are many examples that we can um, probably include here. Okay, guys, so do you have any question about this email? The most important thing that you need to remember is that you need to add the, the greeting, del saludo, the body of the message, el, el cuerpo del mensaje, una... Despedida, okay, siempre agradeciendo. Thank you for taking the time to look into my request. Okay, gracias por ver mi correo electrónico. Gracias por tomarse el tiempo de verificar mi correo, whatever. And sincerely, okay, esa es una despedida, coma, y su nombre. Okay, all right. So now, what we are going to do is that we are going to take the listening, the listening quiz, okay? So this is uh, very short, okay? It's not that long. You just have three questions, okay? It's really, really short, okay? Um, the passcode is listening. I'm going to play the recording three times, okay? Even though it's kind of short, but I will play it three times, just in order for you to be sure of your answers. And, um, okay, so let me see. Okay, guys. Okay, open the quiz. Open the quiz and let me know once you are ready so I can play the recording. Ready, miss. Ready. Okay. Perfect. So, guys, here we go. Okay. Here we go. Hi, I'm Randall, and I just wanted to share with you three ideas on how to exercise better. Number one, choose something that you enjoy. If you like running, run. If you like lifting weights, do that as well. The second idea is do it with someone. Uh, it's kind of boring to do exercise by yourself, but if you do you know, exercise with a friend, I enjoy doing it with my wife, then you can talk and share ideas and share goals together. And that leads to the third point, choose something that is realistic. Don't try to run nine days a week. Just start basic, start easy, and as you do that, you can kind of work up to things to where you're feeling comfortable and feeling good about your exercise program. Okay, here we go again, okay? Hi, I'm Randall, and I just wanted to share with you three ideas on how to exercise better. Number one, choose something that you enjoy. If you like running, run. If you like lifting weights, do that as well. The second idea is do it with someone. Uh, it's kind of boring to do exercise by yourself, but if you do you know, exercise with a friend, I enjoy doing it with my wife, then you can talk and share ideas and share goals together. And that leads to the third point, choose something that is realistic. Don't try to run nine days a week. Just start basic, start easy, and as you do that, you can kind of work up to things to where you're feeling comfortable and feeling good about your exercise program. Okay, the last time. 
Hi, I'm Randall, and I just wanted to share with you three ideas on how to exercise better. Number one, choose something that you enjoy. If you like running, run. If you like lifting weights, do that as well. The second idea is do it with someone. Uh, it's kind of boring to do exercise by yourself, but if you do you know, exercise with a friend, I enjoy doing it with my wife, then you can talk and share ideas and share goals together. And that leads to the third point, choose something that is realistic. Don't try to run nine days a week. Just start basic, start easy, and as you do that, you can kind of work up to things to where you're feeling comfortable and feeling good about your exercise program. Okay. Okay. So I can see that some of you got 100, okay? Some of you got 100. Okay, guys. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. So what we're going to do right now is that we're going to go to speaking, okay? So we're going to practice for about 10 minutes and then we're going to come back because we are going to take the last, um, the last quiz. All right, so we're going to practice just for 10 minutes and then we're going to come back, All right? Uh, give me one second. Okay. I went a child. Um, my Let family and I, my family yeah. and I, uh, we we ate uh, cake. Mm -hmm. I where a child. And for me, Mm -hmm. I eat at eight. Eight. Cake, pastel. What is oh, cake? Cake. Cake. I eat it cake. I ate cake. I ate cake. Mm -hmm. And now, what do you usually do when you are having birthday? Um, now I spend time with my family. Okay. And we we eat cake. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> All right. So you you follow the tradition, right? Yes. That is something good. Okay. What about you, Maris? Now, what do you do for your birthday? <laughs> uh, uh, now this morning, uh -huh. no eat cake because I. It's bad for me. For your health. Salud. For me health. Yes. But it a uh, 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 the other products. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. So I eat other uh things that are healthier. Uh, healthier. Healthier. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, and you, George, what what do you do in your birthday nowadays, right? That you are an adult. 
Mm, well, now, mm, when I stay in my work, mm -hmm. uh, well, um, my part, my co-workers mm -hmm. uh, give me a, a cake. Okay. Every year in the house, my family uh, give me a gift. My wife always uh, remember this day and uh, she knows what uh, that I like. It. And she give me um, uh, many details. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, I think that the tradition is the same, right? That you actually put a cake that you receive, probably gifts, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What about you, uh, Carlos Vladimir? What do you do now on your birthday? Uh, I usually do to have a dinner with my family. A dinner. Okay. Yeah. And do, do you still cook a cake? Mm, and sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Yeah. All okay. right. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about you, Emerson? What do you do on your birthday? Well, in my case, my mom come my home and cook the uh, special food. Mm -hmm. We we dinner together and then probably see the the movie. You watch a movie, okay? All right, okay, perfect. Um, let me see who else. Pablo, what about you? How do you celebrate your birthday nowadays? I usually celebrate my birthday with my family and friends. Mm -hmm. Make me a dinner. Okay. Do you cook a cake? Um, usually. Usually. Okay. Yes. Okay. Wendy, what about you? How do you normally do nowadays on your birthday? Is Wendy there? No. Okay. So Nelly, is your birthday now is still as important to you as when you were a child? <laughs> no. No? no. <laughs> is, is it less important or is it more important? Less. <laughs> less important. Okay. All right. So what about in your case, Maurice? Is your birthday now still as important to you as when you were a child? Yeah. Yes, it is. It is. Yes, it is. Important. But not much. <laughs> but not much. Oh my God, guys. I think that most of the time, yeah, it's like the same, right? But okay, George, what about you? Is your birthday now still as important to you? Or no? No, really, teacher. Why, guys? But you need to be happy because you are celebrating a new year. I know that oh, we are I, getting old, but... I, I like the gift. I like and um, uh, a, a delicious dinner. But <laughs> it really is not important. Than <laughs> When I I when I was a child. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and you, Carlos Vladimir, the same? No, no. Uh, it's no for me. It's not important my birthday because <laughs> for my family is very important. <laughs> but for you, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, guys! And for you, Emerson. Well, miss. One year Maybe, more. Well. <laughs> uh huh. For you? Well, one day that I expect, but it's funny. Pass with my family. Okay. Don't wait for this day. No. But you are not like waiting like the whole year, right? Yeah. Like, waiting it's, for your. It's birthday. a normal day. Basically, it's a normal, it's a normal day. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry, Wendy. 
Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, for you, Pablo. I think it is not important. <laughs> okay. Um, but uh, just uh, one more excuse to meet with my loved ones. Come on, Pablo. Okay. <laughs> All right. So honest, right? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, yes, I think that uh -huh, it's like like when we are having birthday, I think that there is a point that it's not that important, right? But but okay, guys, I understand that. Okay, scroll down, Nelly. Okay, okay, what is your favorite animal? Uh, my favorite animal is, is a duck. The dog? Okay. Yes. Okay. And for you, George? Um, my favorite animal is a lion. The lion. Okay, yeah. and for you, Pablo? Um, my favorite animal is a dog. The dog as well, and for you, Carlos Vladimir? My favorite animal is the dog too. The dog as well. Okay. And for you, Emerson? I like the fish. It's easy to carry out. The fish because it's easy to carry out. Yes, that is that is true, I think. Okay. Yes. But you need to be really careful as well, right? Mm -hmm. so, sometimes. Yes, that is that is correct. Dep Depending on this, this specimen. Okay. I think that yes, it is true. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. Okay, Maris, what about you? What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is the dog, too. The dog? He's very obedient. Oh my God, okay. The dog, okay. And for you, well, I don't know if Wendy, what is your favorite animal? My favorite, my favorite thing is dog fish. Is the dog okay? Okay, guys. Yes, I think that dogs are beautiful. Okay, dogs are beautiful. Okay, what types of animals are kept as pets in our country? What do you think about that? What types of animals are kept as pets in our country? Mm -hmm. um, dogs, cats, dogs. Fish. Cat, fish, fish. Uh, nice. birds, birds, mm -hmm. also snakes, also spiders, raccoons, raccoons, rabbits, cats. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Hamster? Which one? Hamsters. Hamsters, yes. Uh -huh. What else? I am um, spiders, spiders, iguanas, um, turtles. I have a turtle. You have turtle? Yeah. Just one. Mm, two. Two. Two turtles. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are 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 they land turtles or uh, semi aquatic? No. Land turtles? Yeah. Yes, land turtles. Land turtles? Okay. Yes. I want to see some big. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, more or less 30 or 40 centimeters. Oh, okay. So, yes. She is big. Yeah. You know, it is really... Uh, it is, I would say, like incredible that land turtles are really small, right? When they are babies, they are small, but then they are really big. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, you know, also, I don't know if you call them pigs. I don't know if, but those are little pigs, como pequeños cerditos. People have also those as, as pets. Those are little, some chiquititos. Yeah, I have seen people. Uh -huh. Horse, 
horses as well horses cows right cows horses there are many animals that we have as pets here in, in our country many animals um i don't know if monkeys because i haven't seen monkeys here yes right sometimes people have monkeys as well mm -hmm. okay so do you think animals should be kept in zoos Mm. It is, it's really fun to see the animals in the zoo, but many times they don't take good care of them. That is correct. And you know what? I think that uh, the thing is that animals, I think that yes, they should be kept in zoos, but just if they are wild animals. For example, lions, Right. I mean, because imagine if you go to a mountain, you can find those type of animals. Yeah. And of course, they are going to kill you. Right. Yes. So I think that, yeah, just in those cases, yes. But most of animals, mm, I don't know. I mean, for example, gods, uh, turtles, those type of animals, I think that no, they shouldn't be in the zoo that's what i think right turtles fish gods right and well monkeys i don't know because sometimes monkeys are really dangerous monkeys right um well and all of the other ones right mm -hmm. yes okay so Let's go back to the main room. Okay, let's go back because we are going to take the last quiz. Okay, let's go back. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, so we are going to take the last quiz for today. And it's really simple, okay? It's not that difficult, okay? So I will send it to you right now. Let me send it, the passport and everything. So this one is about, um, oh, uh, the passcode is grammar and the link is this one, okay? The passcode is grammar. So basically, this is about vocabulary. You just need to choose, okay, the correct option. It is describing job professions, okay? So, yes. I will give you, um, let me see, three minutes, okay? Well, no, four minutes, okay? So you can finish it.
Okay, guys. So I think that most of you already finished, okay? Just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. I really thank you for being responsible and connecting, okay? So I hope you have a good night. Take care, and you can go ahead and rest, okay? Have a good night, guys. Take care. Good night, miss. Good bye -bye. night, guys. Bye-bye. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night.